Welcome to this channel guys and hope that you are enjoying our videos from wherever you are watching. The dailies in this country are diverging more from the last Jubilee parliamentary meeting that was held in State House. And deliberately, the Standard and the People Daily are reporting that President Uhuru Kenyatta in the closed meeting with Jubilee leaders announced that he was going to decide on Raila Odinga's running mate. This morning, I want to confirm that is true because Kanini Kega, who is a very trusted ally of President Uru Kenyatta, is also on record today saying that while ODM will give the flag bearer, the Jubilee party will be giving the, the, the running mate. Now, if you look at the Jubilee party, is there someone who can be a viable running mate for Ailo Dinga? We are going to look at that. But in this video, I want us to do a critical analysis on the implication or rather the ramifications of that move and publicly Uhuru Kenyatta saying that is going to take charge of Raila Odinga's campaigns. In my own perspective, I do think that one of the narratives that Raila Odinga campaign team are trying to neutralize is the issue of state project. And because the William Ruto and Musai Davadi have crafted a very successful campaign slogan on Azimula Umoja and Ray Lodinga branding them as state puppets. And according to them, the puppeter is Uhuru Migei Kenyatta. And that is why when Uhuru publicly says that he's going to announce he's going to give Raila the deputy, it's a very, it's really worrying on my end. Because he's not helping Raila to neutralize the narrative that he is a state project. Initially, we saw Raila trying to climb the mountain alone. And even though the president was behind his campaigns, but he, all, he always left Raila alone. Even though the president, Raila needs president support, president's endorsement. But I think it should be done in a manner that the line is drawn clearly so that it, does, it is not seen that Uhuru Kenyatta, that Raila Odinga is a state project. But just before I proceed, I think on this issue of the state project, Raila Odinga have vied, vied in 1997 2007, 2013, and 2017. So even if he was not going to get the support of Uhuru Kenyatta, Raila Diga was going to vie in 2022. But of course, because of politics, you must play the dishonesty and you, have, you must wipe emotions by telling people that Raila is a state project. And this is politics. Really, I don't see anything bad with William Ruto side using that narrative. So in this video, guys, there is something I'm thinking on. This decision has its own merits and demerits. While my video here, the punchline will be on the bigger benefit to Raila Dinga, but let me first look at it this way. Uhuru Kenyatta is trying to blunder with Raila's campaigns because this is a time when it's very delicate. Raila needs to deliver the message. Then the Jubilee PG comes and says, we are going to give him the deputy. The next day you hear of an election law that really is crucifying Raila against Kenyans, that inciting Raila against Kenyans, because people think it's Raila who is responsible for whatever is going on. And so there is something that the presidents need to do. But as we move forward, guys, let us look at the president's booth. Before we do that, if you're watching this video and you've not yet subscribed, kindly take a second and subscribe. Also click the notification bell just above the subscription interface so that when we upload a video, 
you will be notified from wherever you are watching. Most importantly, also engage us in the comment section and try to figure out who do you think can be President Uhuru Kenyatta's surprise running mate for Ilo Dinga. So can we walk directly to President Uhuru Kenyatta's booth in August 8th? What is Uhuru Bugay Kenyatta trying to envision? And I want us to narrow down to four candidates that can be potential Ilo Dinga's running mate. And amongst the four, I have one who is a surprise. Two women, two men. So let me ask, can it be Peter Munya? Peter Munya can only be the Railo Dinga's running mate if the politics of West Gema and East Gema plays out. Where, because Peter Munya comes from Meru and the Meru, Tarakaniti and Embu have been sidelined for long. And if Uhuru realizes that Ruto is more popular on this other side and after his tour of the region realizes that they are not listening to him, he might play that card then front Peter Munya. Because again, Peter Munya can only be appointed if Uru Kenyatta is also committed to make sure that the person who is going to be running mate can be a deputy party leader to Jubilee Party. He comes from the other side, so he can be appointed as a deputy party leader to Jubilee Party. Secondly, do you think Uhuru can front Peter Kenneth? According to me, Peter Kenneth will not be a surprise candidate to be Railo Dinga's running mate. If Peter Munya is chosen, then that is not the choice of President Uhuru Kenyatta, but that is the choice of the Deep State or rather the Mount Kenya Foundation. He's been close to them, then that decision can only be influenced by the Mount Kenya Foundation, who majority of the members come from Peter Kenneth County, that is Morana. And again, unless their president realizes that he must not pick the running mate from Jubilee Party. Guys, I have a punchline, and my punchline is not going to be on one candidate. My punchline is here. What is Sabina Chege, the Moranga women rep, doing in Nyanza? For better part of this January, Sabina Chege has been doing voter registration drive in Kisumu, Migori, Siaya, and Homa Bay. And I've seen those clips. He's not tagging, she's not tagging along very prominent leaders in those areas. In fact, you'll not see her photo. I've not seen her photo with any governor from Nyanza. I think there is only somewhere where they were with Gladys Wanga. I've not seen her with Orengo somewhere in Nyanza. Okay, she, I think they visited Orengo at home. So, do you think that Uhuru Kenyatta is the person who sent Sabina Chege to Nyanza to do that voter registration drive? And because that is the first, the new central Kenya leader who is going directly to talk to the people to register. Is Sabina Chege being introduced to Nyanza? And is there a secret card that she's also being put somewhere? That in any case the rubber meets the road, she can be Railo Dinga's running mate. That can have another interpretation. And think about it. Or, in any case that Uhuru do not get Moses Kuri on the side, because they are interested, if, Uri, if William Ruto picks a female running mate, then Raila might go for a female running mate. Within Jubilee Party, the only female leader remaining there strong is Sabina Chege, strong in the terms of loyalty with the party. Think about it. If William Ruto goes for Ali Swahome, Sabina Chege might be taken. They actually come from the same county. But then, as of now, if Uhuru Kenyatta is going to consult with Railo Dinga on who is going to be the running mate, then Take this to bank and borrow alone. Railo Dinga's running mate is Martha Karua. The person who dragged Martha Karua to one Kenya Lions, in my own understanding, and I analyze here, it was not Kalonzo Musioka, it was not Gideon Moy, it was President Uhuru Kenyatta. And I think one of the reasons why Martha Karua was taken there was potentially 
to increase her stakes so that when she's actually picked as if if she's ultimately going to be picked as a railroad as an inmate, she's not going to come from the blues. And I think lately she's also revamping the Nakenya party. If you look at her social media pages, I think they're doing a lot of activity at the Nakenya party. The, for me, the gist must not, might not be on who is chosen. But again, there is an advantage to Uhuru Kenyatta endorsing Railo Dinga's running mate. In that arrangement, it is like Uhuru Raila ticket. Because if the running mate comes from the shadow, that will just be just a running mate. Raila has chosen a running mate from Central Kenya, that is what it is. But if Uhuru Kenyatta directly trust that leader, the running mate, and chooses that running mate for Railo Dinga, there is an advantage to that. It is going to boost the popularity of that running mate. It's going to give it the intensity and the seriousness that is needed. And then, in that manner, William Uhuru Kenyatta shall have actually endorsed Railo Dinga's presidency in central Kenya. If, if you Unlike when Raila just goes and takes it is this person, but when Uhuru Kenyatta finally says it is so and so, and running mate is directly associated with Uhuru Kenyatta, one thing I understand here is it's going to boost Raila's odds. Take that to bank. It will be as of Raila Dingo is a presidential candidate and the running mate is Uhuru Kenyatta. So Raila, Uhuru Raila ticket, you cannot compare with any other ticket or route or any. Even it will be Uhuru Raila ticket, it will be Raila Uhuru ticket and Ruto regarding a Shwago or Ruto Wahome ticket. That ticket is going to be a very, very expensive and heavy ticket for my analysis. And thank you very much for watching. You can also tell us who do you think is going to be Raila Dinga's running mate, who can be the surprise candidate in President Uhuru Kenyatta's booth. And what do you think of Uhuru Kenyatta's choice? to appoint riders, to appoint riders running mate.